American democracy has suffered a bit of a kicking in recent years. Since 2000, the Republicans have been accused of stealing the presidency. The Bush administration has been heavily criticized over the war in Iraq. Yeah, no, I'm ashamed to be an American. And even grassroots democracy has been affected. In 2002, Jim Traffican, Democrat congressman for nearly two decades in Northeast Ohio, was sent to prison for seven years for abuse of his position. In April, the nine-term Democrat was convicted of racketeering, bribery, and tax evasion and faces several years in prison. He traded his official office and powers repeatedly for money, free labor, equipment at his farm and other things. But, this being America, he was still free to run for office again and was standing as an independent from prison. Congressman, will you, will you continue running for re-election no matter what I will happens? be on the ballot. The people in my district will have my name on the ballot. And if they vote for me and I get the majority of votes, then there'll be a hell of a stink, won't there? If the truth comes out and I'm on the ballot, you're looking at the first American in history to serve a constituency from a prison cell in America. The nine-term congressman, despite being a laughing stock to much of America, was a hero in many eyes. A colorful Robin Hood character who had taken on the might of the federal government and won. No American should fear their government, and this guy doesn't. Many of his constituents believed that he was a scapegoat for a government angry at his audacity and were willing to elect him to serve from his cell. I'm having some rectal disorders, as a matter of fact, as a result of this. Trafficant was therefore unable to hit the campaign trail, although his rather bullish supporters were on hand to offer their views. I'm going Jim Trafficant because he's the best candidate for the 17th Congressional District. I don't even live in the district. But when it comes to border security yeah. and China and everything, Jim Trafficant has always spoken what, what is right for this country and not what a political group wants him to speak. Up against him was Ann Woma Benjamin, a four-time state senator and experienced lawyer who had been selected as a Republican candidate. She hailed from outside the 17th district, and in this parochial part of middle America, that was a major drawback. She was using television to try and raise her profile. Her party was running attack ads detailing her opponent's past conviction for using a fake ID as a student. Including two disorderly conduct charges. And three years ago, when he tried to seal his criminal record, a judge was not convinced of the defendant's rehabilitation. Call Tim Ryan. Tell him to grow up. She claimed the adverts had been run without her knowledge. I had no control over that whatsoever. Uh, I didn't know they were coming. And uh, I've, I've only just seen it because someone taped it. It's not paid for by my campaign nor controlled by my campaign. Despite requests, she refused to allow us close to her campaign, even using human shields to keep her away from my prying camera's eye. I'm not perfect, but I do love this valley and I want to see it move forward. The subject of the attack ads was Tim Ryan, a 29-year-old local boy of Irish-Italian descent with just two years' experience on the state senate. He had unexpectedly won the Democrat nomination against the party's favoured candidate, Tom Sawyer, overcoming a huge deficit in the final days of May's primaries. From the outside, it appeared he had little more than family and friends assisting his precocious push for a seat in Washington. We have one thing on our side. We have